this is what we're going to be sewing today in these tires it's back to the cement mixing in the front <laughs> We're mixing this cement with some sand from yeah. over there. We've got a couple of uh, buckets of uh, manure, which I've really put one in and a bit of other earth that we had. These tyres were just a couple of tyres we've got laying about. And uh, now we're, we're listening to planes. <laughs> and now what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, some mixture in here. We're going to mix a bit of sand, a bit of uh, this miracle grow, whatever it is. We don't actually know what this miracle plane is like, so here we go. Now it's another airplane. Yeah, hopefully you know, once we start videoing, we get all the planes. There's somebody in the control tower, they go, right, we're videoing. This miracle grow is, is, is actually... We don't need to mix it with anything, do we? Well, it's just to bulk it up, maybe. Yeah, maybe. So we don't use the whole bag on the just some... The, this which I call Muli, but these are seeds that I bought in Bulgaria last year and this is what it's, it goes by in there, daikon radish and it's a long radish so it needs to have the depth in the soil and it needs to be an easy soil to grow into like much like with the carrots so maybe we do need to add a bit of sand to it we're going to use the whole bag for all this stuff but you know it's an experiment we have never grown anything in tires no. and we have never grown daikon radish or muli either here goes the sand and uh, one of the last buckets of manure. Well, at the back of the package, it says a popular radish variety. It forms large, long, 45 centimeters roots with a juicy inner part and mild taste. Direct sowing July to August. We are now June. just at the end of June. Temperatures 15, 17 degrees. It says 1 to 1.5 centimeters apart. Sowing. Hmm. We need a lot more cement. My second batch of cement. I told you we were going to need a bigger space. We, we had a bit of a discussion. How tall are these tires? Well, 45 centimeters the length of the vegetable. Look, it's exactly 45, which means the muli will be just touching the ground. Well, I don't the plastic mind. underneath. I don't mind if the moon is a bit shorter, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just telling you, we need to fill well, it to I'm the just, top. I'm just telling you, I don't mind the muli being 40. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. The reason we're using this sand is because it helps with drainage. With our experience with carrots, which were all over the shop, <laughs> we want this to go straight down and we want it to be 40 centimetres. <laughs> Not 45. <laughs> Not 45. It can go up here at the top, actually. You know, so this is... You know, we, we don't... We're not, we're only, I think we're just using a little bit of sand in comparison, but it just helps to... Well, because the other... The carrots, I use soil from the ground. This is compost. Yeah. It's well, already very crumbly and easy to grow through. Then we'll just put a bit of compost in it. From, from before. And, uh, it's a lot of soil, these two tyres. Well, how many are we going to grow in here? Let's say one to two centimetres apart, we can grow quite a few. down there is kind of a low profile tire and as you can see the treads on there nothing but the best for the moon um, <laughs> you know racing tires it's a jaguar we found it on our plot people don't want they look for entrepreneurial types to find some use for these things and we had like six tires and we just didn't know what we were going to do with them we had ideas in the end we just we, we thought oh that's it we'll use it in the 
cage. And Desi said, oh, you can use tyres for my moolie. My moolie. Growing down here, sitting here with our cucumbers and our flowers and pumpkins and corn and runner beans, it's like making the most of the space that we've got available. And the other thing, of course, is once we've done this and we've got the we've got the soil ready and everything else, you might say to yourself, oh, you're going to just chuck this away, this bag. No, couldn't be further from the truth. Oh no. In the fruit cage, in the middle, we can cover as a weed suppressant. And then we're going to put wood chip on top of it. So it's going to be a sort of self-maintaining uh, place, not with, where things are growing where they're supposed to grow and not anywhere else. And with the exception, of course, which is the uh, Blackberry Bramble. Uh, there's a little story behind that one. Watch this space. Right, here we go then. So this could be not just for Moody, this could be where exactly. you could plant anything, any root vegetable that has a long root, like carrots, parsnips, maybe potatoes could be done like this. You start with a little bit and as they come out you add a little bit more soil. Here are the seeds. Oh yeah. They are very much like radish seeds. The only difference is that these are probably a bit more oval in shape. Oval? <laughs> Oh, oval. <laughs> oval, not perfect balls. So first you need to push this down a bit and flatten it. And now I will be able to clearly see where I'm putting the seeds. If I imagine the amulet is like that, you put them like three centimetres yeah. away. Yeah, like at least three centimetres diameter. So if I start with one in the middle, there. I could just go around. Just gently and lightly. There's this rule of thumb how big the seeds are, that's how deep they go. How, how big the seed is, that's how much on top the layer of covering. Thank you for watching all the way to this point. Uh, it's now six days since we sowed the muli and I will show you in a minute what it looks like because it's grown really well. But before that, just a quick reminder, if you find this video useful, if you like it, do please hit the, the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos like that. If you hit the bell button as well, YouTube will notify you when we've uploaded the next one. We tend to make them funny and entertaining. I hope we've achieved that but for now let's go have a look at what the moolie is doing well the moolie is looking great it's doing very well most of the seeds have germinated and grown at this point it doesn't look much different than a normal radish but that's okay because it's in the same family uh, I can just see one little seed there that's maybe a little bit slower than the rest but they've done really well and I'm having a very good feeling about this crop. I'll keep you updated. So subscribe to the channel to be able to see what comes next. Bye for now and thank you for watching all the way to the end.